Hello. Hello. Sir, Japan, sir. Oh, can I start, madam? Yeah, can sir, you can start. Can you start, can you can start, start now, sir, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello, guys. Good morning. Uh, my name is Sarasayan Trendi Chadula. I am from Tadipatri. Uh, today, I will discuss about the sentences and the types of sentences. Yes. What is sentence? First of all, what is sentence? What is sentence? First of all, we have discussed about what is sentence means it is a group of it is a group of words. A group of a group of words. A group of words is called a sentence. First of all, we know that you know what is word. You have to know what is word. What is word? Word is what is word. Word is a group of a group of a group of a group of letters. A group of letters. Okay. Uh, first of all, you know that what is sentence? Sentence is a group of words. What is word? A group of letters. In Telugu, sentence means vakya. Padala yukka samuhani yamandarande vakya mandar. Aksharala yukka samuhani yamandarande poga padamandar. Okay. And we have to discuss about how many types of sentences. How many types of sentences? Sentences. Types of sentences. Okay. There are four types of sentences. First one is assertive sentence. Or this one also called as this one also called as declarative, declarative, declarative. Okay. And second one is derivative sentence. Derivative. Derivative. And third one is imperative sentence. Imperative. Imperative. And fourth one is exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence. Okay. First of all, we have to discuss about what is assertive sentence. Yeah, what is assertive sentence? What is assertive sentence? Assertive sentence means it is called a simple statement. It is called a simple statement. Simple statement. It is a simple statement. And it is a simple statement. How we have to choose? Uh, we have to identify. It is a simple statement. It start with a Subject and ends with full stop. Start with subject and ends with full stop. For example, for example, we have to take, for example, we have to take, I am going to, I am going to market. I am going to market. Okay. Here, I is a, I is a subject and it is ending with it is ending with full stop. Full stop. Okay. And we have to take another example. For example, we have he, he he drinks he drinks he drinks milk. He drinks milk. 
here subject is e subject is e and it ends with ends with this verb okay this is the about the assertive sentence okay uh next interrogative sentence interrogative okay what is interrogative sentence it asks about the any question any question asks about any question question okay for example the question mark okay there are two types of interrogative sentence first one is first one is yes or no question yes or no question question and second one is wh questions wh questions okay ah uh, next what is sr no question what is no what is sr no what is sr no question sr no question sr no question that is sr no questions means it is a it is a very simple one we have to identify by helping verb please identifying by helping verb helping verb it starts with helping verb and ends with question ends with question for example we have to take one example we have to take one example helping verb any helping verb am i am i seeing you am i seeing you this it starts with helping verb and ends with question mark helping verbs do you know helping verbs helping verbs are like is am i was were have had has and will will shall can would could should like must these are helping verbs and another example we have to see are you going to school are you are you going to school are you going to school this is okay next second one is s r no question is completed we have to enter into wh question wh questions wh questions okay what is wh question it starts with any wh question like what who where when like why these are wh means how how long how much how far that are the question now sing one example it also starts with wh question wh word anything that starts and ends with the question mark for example we have to take why why are you why are you going to school why are you going to school this is one example this is one example and we have to say next one like when when do you when do you go to go to market when do you go to market or it up how take how how bold how bold are you how bold are you these are the examples in interrogative sentences next one third one is third one is interrogative sentence is completed next third one is 
you have to take imperative sentence imperative sentence imperative sentence what is imperative sentence what is imperative sentence imperative sentence sentence means nothing but it uh, asks about commands requests and others huh? okay for example we have to see it starts with it starts with present verb it starts with present present verb it starts with present verb called b1 called b1 and ends with and ends with full stop and ends with full stop okay starts with present verb and ends with full stop for example we have to take open the door open is the v1 v1 form okay open is the v1 form and set up set up set up means or musko set up set up your mouth okay this is example it starts with present verb v1 and ends with Start. Okay. Next, fourth one is a exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence means, for example, it's it's a about strong feelings. It's it is about strong feelings. It says about strong feelings. Okay. strong feelings or it express it express the strong feelings okay how how they are expressing the strong feelings okay is about how the strong feelings for example we have to see the exclamation mark exclamation mark is the example exclamation mark is the example for exclamatory mark oh oh he passed oh he passed things he passed the things okay and the second one is how 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 the beautiful girl is how the beautiful girl how the beautiful girl beautiful girl she is she is plus exclamation mark you have to observe the exclamation mark in exclamatory sentence how oh, we pass the exam the exclamation mark is there how the beautiful girl she is oh these are example for two exclamation marks in english this is about sentence and types of sentence okay i say one example open the door Open the door. What is this sentence? Tell me. The sentence is yes, right. This is imperative. This is imperative. Okay. Next. Because it starts with, it starts with present verb and ends with full stop. Okay. and this is called imperative sentence next is 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 he doing is he doing is he doing homework is he doing homework yes what type of sentence is 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 a helping verb is is a helping verb is is a helping verb And it is uh, ends with uh, 
question mark what is this sentence naya this right tell me yes this is s r no question s r no s r no question s r no question okay s r no question type in interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence Right, okay. And I will do another example. We have to say, yeah. What a, what a handsome, what a handsome boy, what a handsome boy he is. What a handsome boy he is. Hey, tell. What is this example? This is the example for. the exclamatory sentence here exclamation mark is there so it is example for exclamatory exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence okay this is the example okay this is the example for exclamatory sentence next one uh yeah I have to say, I was, I was sick. I was sick. It starts with, it starts with subject and ends with full stop. What is this type of sentence? What is this type of sentence? Yeah, tell me. This is, ah, uh -huh, yes, a simple sentence. It is a simple statement. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, good, 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 good. now i will tell about i will tell about tenses past tense and active tense okay you have to know everything okay you have to know what is tense and what are the uses of past tense and active tense or wise Okay. First of all, I explain the tense structures. What are the tense structures? Tense is nothing but a nothing but is a time. Tense is a nothing but time. Okay. Tense is nothing but time. And three types of tenses yes, we have there. Okay. Have there three types of tenses. First one is a present tense. present tense and second one is past tense past tense and the third one is future tense third one is future tense future tense and each tense is subdivided to each tense is subdivided into four types each tense is subdivided into four types there are These tenses are subdivided into four types. What are they? You have to first one in simple, in simple present. Okay, and simple present and. present continuous present continuous continuous and third one is and third one is yeah yeah tell me ah present perfect present perfect and fourth one is present perfect continuous fourth one is present perfect continuous tense and perfect continuous tense yes in past tense also simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous okay and in future also simple future future continuous future future perfect future perfect continuous there are four into three how much two words okay two words 
There are twelve tenses. There are twelve tenses. Yeah, there are twelve tenses. Okay. In twelve tenses, in wise we have only eight, eight usages. Eight usages of tenses. In converting, in converting. Wise or as wise converting as you wise. Okay, we have to see the examples. Okay, yeah, what is tense and how many types of tenses are there? We have to discuss now. Now we have to discuss about. Wise, wise. What is wise? It is like in Telugu, karthari vachyam, karmani vachyam. Means active wise. Means karthari vachyam. Active wise means karthari vachyam. And passive wise means karmani vachyam. Like that. Okay. An action which is done in. Any tenses, okay, that will be converted into by past wise, okay. This is nothing but this is nothing but this is nothing but tense. This is nothing but tenses, okay. This will be converted. This will be converted in by past wise, okay. There are three rules in converting active wise into passive wise. Wise is nothing but vacuum, or vacuum, wise. Okay. A vacuum me we have to convert into active wise into passive. Okay. We have to convert active wise to passive. There are three rules how we are converting into active wise into passive. Okay. First one is. Subject is subject is changed to subject is changed into object, and object is object is changed to subject. Object is changed to and B three and B three plus B three plus by. Preposition by preposition. Sometimes B two two also come. Most ninety five percent by ninety five percent preposition preposition by and object is last. Object is subject to change. So at last object with full stop with full stop. This is. Why is this is how many types of sentence we have to discuss? This is an imperative sentence. How we have to change? Okay, we have to change. imperative sentence. In imperative sentence, it starts with it starts with subject and ends with Full stop. So here, full stop is uh, compulsory. Yes. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. In that sentence, it starts with subject and ends with full stop. These are the rules. Object plus is am r is am r is am r plus b three b three. Plus by preposition plus subject and full stop. This is this is example. This is in active wise. This is in past wise. Here subject is changed into object. Here change object is changed into subject. Here change. This is B three by plus subject is common. These are the rule. For example, we have to see. 
for example we have to see one example he he drinks he drinks milk he drinks milk answer yeah 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 yes subject is changed into object object is changed into subject first right milk okay milk milk is singular milk is singular so is milk is drink 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 what is the drink form of b3 drink drink drank drunk drunk i have to write drunk milk is drunk by milk is drunk by he, he is converted into him how i show okay an example how there are three three personal pronouns there are three personal pronouns okay the three personal pronouns okay first person second person third person okay in first person in first person singular singular in first person singular singular and plural is there singular means i i is converted into i is converted into i is converted into who okay in subject to case i in object to case me in object to case me okay we we is converted into us okay we is converted into us this like plural is is we converted into us okay this is similar i this is plural okay in second we in second personal pronoun in second personal pronoun we have to use singular as you you is converted into you only you is converted into you only means in adjective and subjective form in third person in third person in third person he she it he she it in plural form they they okay they there is converted as m in object to is there is converted to them he he is converted as him in some cases is is okay she is converted as her she is converted as her in object to is it is converted as it only in singular In singular case, in singular case. So he is converted as him in adjective case. Okay, this is an example in simple terms. Okay, and we have to see another example. I, he, he writes, he writes English. He writes English. Answer is English. 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 Singular is written. English is written by written by him. English is written by him. Here, English is okay. This is in imperative sentence. For for example, for example, in imperative sentence, in imperative sentence. Right sentence, simple present. We have to see. Does does he does he write does he write English? We have to write example. Does the place write does the place write here? Does the place does the place V one does the place V one use use V one? Yes, sorry, yes. given sir yes okay does plus given this is this is used for only 
the person singular purpose sr is is e okay do plus v1 do plus do plus v1 do plus v1 is only v1 do plus v1 is only v1. okay so does plus right right okay Rights, please. Okay. This will convert into as guys. Subject is changed into object. Object is changed into subject. English is singular. English is right. Wrote written. Right. Wrote written by him. By him. He is changed into him. This is changed into interrogative sentence. This is a sort of question type. So we have to change into is helping verb. Yes, helping verb is. At start, okay. Is English is English written written by him written by him? Okay, this is in in try to sentence in W H question. Why 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 is why is English written by why is English written By passive, so what this is in passive in active passive we have to change. Why, why he, why he? So yeah, help me more. Why does, why does he write? Why does write this? Yeah, does he write English? Here we put to W is question. Why does he write English? We we simply put the W is question in place of a certain question. Then use W is question in active as. Is English written by him? Here why? Why is English written by him? Okay, why is English written by him? This is the answer. Okay, for W is question. Okay. For interactive sentence, for interactive sentence, for interactive sentence, open the open the door. For example, in that this is V1. We have to change. Let be method. Let be method. Let to be method. What is let to be? Okay. What is let be method? We have to see. Let. Let. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah. This is a. We have to cross multiply. We have to cross multiply. Okay. We have to cross multiply. How we cross multiply? I can see. This is cross multiplication. You know the cross multiplication in mathematics. Yes. Let let to be method. Or we have to use let be method in straight forward also. So we have to take yes. Let be method. Let start. Okay. We have to start with let, let, let. Here the object is what? Here let be method we have to use let, let the door is object. Let the door, door B. Let be method open B three form. Okay, B three form is open. Let the door B open. Here let. Subject, object is changed into subject, and then B form, and then B three, open, 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 and finish stop. This is how to change active voice into passive voice. Have to convert into active voice into. We have to take another example. 
ओके विंडो लेट द विंडो बी 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 फॉर्म बी लेट द विंडो बी लोड ओके दिस इज एग्जांपल इन नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस वी हैव टू सी एन एग्जांपल हाउ कन्वर्टेड इनटू हाउ डू वी कन्वर्टेड इनटू एच ओ एस ओके फ्रॉम एच ओ एस व्हाट इज व्हाट इज beautiful girl what a beautiful girl what a beautiful girl you how we convert her do you know this this has this as no no as well okay this has no as well sir no Because the here this is no subject, no object. We have to give a this somewhat. Okay. Take another example. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. It passed. It passed. Example. Passed. Okay. The same thing. Go oh, is simply like that. The exam is object. Go oh, the exam. Go oh, the exam is past means past tense. Go oh, the exam was passed passed by him. Before you know how he here was is I mean you have to let me know the all tenses. This is only in present tense. Okay. He passes the exam means yes is done. He the exam is a singular so have used. Singular form of exam is is or oh, passes the exam. Okay, now otherwise we have to take like or take or 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 emit 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 his friend emit his friend. Okay. Oh, same. And object is changed into subject. Subject is changed. Oh, his friend, his friend, his friend. His friend is singular. His friend is meet met. His friend is met by him. These are these are these are the examples. Let we have to discuss what is sentence, what is sentence, and how many types of sentence, okay, and and its types, and why is why is in simple present tense in simple present tense in simple present tense, okay. Why is in simple present tense? Okay. Why is in simple present tense? Okay. In simple present tense only we have discussed. There are lot of senses. Two word senses. Two word simple. In two word tenses, eight sentences are used in eight sentences are. Use them wise. Simple in 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 every sentences. In simple way. Eight tenses. Eight tenses. They have to use in four types of sentences. That are asset sentence, interrogative sentence, exclamatory sentence, and imperative sentence. These are four types of sentences. Okay. In simple present tense, we now we discuss and later we we'll discuss about. In present continuous, past, uh, past continuous, future continuous, Simple, uh, present perfect, and the past perfect, and future perfect. Past perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, and future perfect continuous. We we'll have to discuss later. Okay. Hello. 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 Hello, madam. 
हेलो हेलो श्रीवाणी मैडम यस सर हेलो 